more about today, right? Right, Jason, not only is there a criminal case against the suspect, Javon Hatchett, but now there is a wrongful death lawsuit filed against key leaders in the sheriff's office. The utterance he made was that the inmate had put a hair in his sandwich. Whether killed over a sandwich or because of race, we'll never know. What we do know is 19-year-old Javon Hatchett admitted to authorities he killed his cellmate, Eddie Nelson Jr., this past Saturday. In a hearing Tuesday morning, Hatchett's plea, not guilty. This is not a whodunit. We know what happened, and the person has been charged with murder. Muskogee County Sheriff Donna Tompkins says one of her deputies witnessed the fight firsthand, seeing Hatchett on top of Nelson strangling him. Javon Hatchett is also the suspect in a stabbing at an auto zone, where he admitted to authorities he stabbed a man simply because he was white. Because of Hatchett's previous charges, a wrongful death lawsuit now named Sheriff Tompkins and three others in a civil suit claiming the leadership was deliberately indifferent to a known risk of serious harm. I'm guessing everybody in the sheriff's department, if not most people in Columbus, Georgia, uh, had heard of this incident. And somehow this uh, offender who committed a hate crime was put into a cell with somebody that he said was the type of person he wanted to kill. We were not notified of the specifics behind this crime. I understand that the media reported it, but that does not necessarily translate to something that law enforcement would pick up. Greg Jones says the victim's family feels for Hatchett's family and the pain they're going through right now. Jones says the real issue here is mental health because he says this easily could have gone a different way. Jason. Well, Samantha, you know, there are still a lot of questions unanswered here about the situation. So is the sheriff of Muskogee County standing firm about not calling in an outside agency to investigate? Jason, yes, Sheriff Tompkins says because one of her deputies witnessed the murder, there is no need for the GBI to be called in. However, she did say they're doing an internal investigation to find out how the information about Hatchet's history was missed during classification. I spoke with the two candidates running to be the next sheriff about their thoughts on bringing in an outside agency. They both say without a doubt the GBI should be investigating. Not that a, the sheriff's department can't do an adequate investigation, but they could be running a parallel investigation, and I think that, in my opinion, that's what should have been done here. Therefore, there's no questions. When you have a neutral agency to come in now, the sheriff's office can call the GBI in, and they can work along with them. Ultimately, it will be up to a jury to decide not only Hatchet's fate, but the fate of any money the victim's family would receive from the wrongful death lawsuit. All right, thanks very much, Samantha, for that insight and that live report. You can find